welcome back we are still in introduction to algebra class and the next thing is like terms in algebra you must understand what are the like terms so what are like terms so first let's revise again the term algebraic term algebraic term has a form a x raised to the power n where x could be a base so what are like terms like terms are those algebraic terms which have same base and same exponent for example one term we have 3 x raised to the power 3 and there is another term which which is minus 9x raised to the power 3 so both of these terms have same base which is x have same exponent which is 3 so therefore these two terms are like terms so they differ only in coefficient so all like terms differ only in coefficient the terms can have more than one letter as a base for example Minus five x y square and two x y square both have same base, which is x y, and have same exponent, which is two. Only the y part of the base has an exponent. If we compare these two terms, let us compare this with another term, which is minus seven. x square y no the base is same but exponent is not because in this case x has an exponent of 2 while in this case y has an exponent of 2 so not only the base should should be the same but also the exponent should be the same now let's take another example 10 y square x if you look at this now the base is yx y has an exponent of 2 and x has an exponent of 1 all these three terms this one this one and this one all these three terms are like terms the order doesn't matter whether you have x first and then y square or you have y square first and then next it doesn't matter so the concept of like terms is very important you should be very comfortable with exponents and i have few lectures about exponents later in this course so the exponents of every letter should be the same but for example if a term is 1 divided by x square and another term is minus 5 x raised to the power minus 2 these two terms look different but in reality in both of these the base can be written in a similar form this is 1 divided by x square x raised to the power minus 2 and now if you look at these two terms minus 5x raised to the power minus 2 and x raised to the power minus 2 you can easily recognize that both are like terms both have same base and same exponent only differ in coefficient the coefficient of this is 1 while the coefficient of the other is minus 5 as an algebra student you must understand that these are just the two different ways of writing the same base so we will talk about these exponents and what are the various forms of exponent later in this course now the next thing is why we are interested in like terms we are interested in like terms is because only like terms can be added or subtracted from each other so if we have minus 5x square y plus 3x square y so we can add these two terms together so because they have the same 
base and exponent part they only differ in coefficient so we just add minus 5 and 3 which is minus 2 and I will also explain this addition and subtraction of the sign numbers later in this course but for the moment you can simply say that subtract for, uh, 3 from 5 and put the sign of the bigger number so minus 2 x square y would be the answer so only like terms can be added or subtracted we cannot add or subtract unlike terms so for example we have two terms minus x square plus x cube so these both of these terms have same base but the exponent is different so these terms although being added but they will stay like this they cannot be further simplified they will stay like this so when we say that we can add or subtract only like terms it means that we can actually simplify like terms to get a single algebraic term while we cannot simplify the unlike terms and they stay the same so this is the reason why we are interested in like terms and now you are able to recognize the like terms in any algebraic expression.